hi guys with what's been going on recently obviously with this really serious pandemic disclaimer hindi po ako expert sa Bible okay nangyari lang na kinausap ako dito and may natutunan ako dito sa passage na to and I felt the need to share this with you guys so that even in these trying times we can be assured that there really is someone up there that is looking out for us that no matter what is happening he truly still is in control kasi during these times we have seen the world at rest I'm sure nakikita niya mga post, photos of the world healing peace from human activity na kita. Siguro napansin niyo yung mga post sa Facebook yung yung cloud, yung mga yung malino yung clouds, yung yung mga fish mo abalik na sa mga rivers, ganito ganyan sa Venice, 'di ba? Tapos yung nakikita mo na yung skyline kasi wala nang pollution at peace sort sort of yung yung mundo natin. But the question is, are we sabi nga, peace defined in the dictionary is freedom from disturbance or quiet or tranquility. Wow! Big word. Big word. <laughs> Tanong ko sa'yo, ano ba sa'yo ang peace? Gaya ba nito? Peaceful ba sa'yo yan? Yung nagbabasa ka ng favorite book mo, tapos nasa isang magandang lugar ka, tapos ang ganda pa ng view sa paligid mo, yung parang sobrang peaceful ng pakiramdam. Pwede? Or maybe, maghapon kang natutulog. Kasi it's either weekend or holiday, wala kang iisipin work or any responsibilities, or kagaya ngayon na naka-home quarantine tayo. Work from home. Are you at peace? But as we walk with God, we get a different view of peace. Ano ko na sabi? Look at this photo. Ang napapansin nyo. Teka, teka. Akala ko picture ng peace. Akala ko quiet, no disturbance, tranquility. E bagay yan eh. E no, may kidlat pa, tapos winds and strong, ano ba, flow ng current ng tubig. But look at this. Zoom in tayo. Whoop. Kita niyo yan? We can see this little bird and little bird. And we can see that in the midst of this storm, this little bird remains calm, remains undisturbed, remains quiet, remains at peace. And until we find this kind of peace, Lagi na lang tayong maghahanap. Alam nyo ba na this world we live in is only temporary? Ito nga sabi ni Apostle Paul sa Philippians. But our, actually mahaba yan, kinuha ko lang tong exact phrase na to because this is, uh, ito yung gusto kong palabasin na point. Sabi niya, the moment we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, hindi na tayo yung citizenship wala na dito yung citizenship natin wala na dito our citizenship is in heaven that is why whatever we do whatever we achieve wherever we may go whomever we may be with in this earth will never and I repeat will never satisfy us until we are satisfied in him first I've heard one preacher say nga na in this world, marami tayong may encounter na counterfeit peace. Take news. <laughs> diba? It may resemble the original, kagaya niyan. Hindi mo alam kung alin dyan yung, yung, yung fake at saka yung orig at first glance. Pero totoo dyan, merong isang fake dyan at merong isang orig. Like for example, ano ba para sa'yo ang peace? Travel? yung makakapunta ka sa kahit saan mo gusto sa ibang bansa or sa place na nare-relax ka sa antal dito travel goals akit ka ng bundok ganyan tapos magbi o kaya magbi-beach ka peace ba sa'yo yun pag nakakapunta ka sa ganun or relationships relationship goals pagkasama ko siya iba yung pakiramdam parang nakakatakas kami sa mundo <laughs> di ba? or feeling of success. Pwede? Yung parang 
na-achieve mo na lahat. Wala ka nang hahanapin pa. So, you are at peace. Feeling of fulfillment, kumbaga. Or, could it be a sense of validation? Maybe from social media? Yung accepted ka ng lahat, nilalike ka ng lahat, sinishare lahat ng post mo, nakokomentan ka, pinapanood yung, yung mga vlogs mo or TikTok. ba? Diba? Is that peace for you? O pwede rin sigurong feeling of power. Isa tingin mo, you have control over everything. Isa tingin mo, wala, lahat ng plano mo, lahat ng, ng, ng iniisip mo, lahat ng pangarap mo, nangyayari na sa'yo. Because you have in control, you have that power. You have peace. But again, all of those things are from this world. And they are all temporary counterfeit that maybe makes us feel okay today but again looking for something else uli tomorrow because we all know that fake don't last madaling masira mukhang totoo kaparehas ng original pero pagtagal nasisira agad nabubulok hindi matibay And the moment we accepted Christ, sabi mo kanina, as our Lord and Savior, we already belong to Him, together with Him. Yung citizenship natin, andoon. Kaya we will always be left with a whole. Eh, sabi nga dito, sabi sa Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, again, mahaba yan, then kinuha ko lang itong yung, uh, phrase na yan to, to make my point. Sabi dyan, He has put God has put eternity into man's heart. That is why we have an endless craving for something out of this world. Yung lagi na lang tayo naghahanap. Yung kumbaga may hold tayo for longing for something na mag-feel dun sa eternity na meron tayo. Relationships, travel, success, power, fame. Pero it seems like hindi niya masatisfy yung hole na yun, hindi niya ma-feel yung hole na yun kasi eternity yung hugis ng hole na yun and only something out of this world can fill that hole because that hole came from out of this world then tama everybody seems to be looking for the temporary but only Jesus can satisfy eternally again, everybody seems to be looking for the temporary But only Jesus can satisfy eternally. The only one who can fill that hole and grant us peace is Him who is the Prince of Peace. Ano ko na sabi? Sabi sa Isaiah uh, chapter 9 verse 6. Ito binuo ko na. For us, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be, and He will be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Yun mismo yung pangalan niya. Yun mismo siya. Para tayong binigyan ng presidential decree from the royal prince himself. So, royal decree pala. <laughs> no need visa. No need petition. Kasi residente ka na mismo ayon sa prinsipe. Kasi ganito yan eh. Kapag may anxiety ka pa din, kapag nag-aalala ka pa din, kapag, lalo na, lalo na pag ganito, naghahanap ka ng masisisi sa pinagdadaanan mo, result kasi yan ng counterfeit peace, ng fake peace. Kaya hindi ka mapayapayapa. But, if the peace comes from God, no one, and I repeat, no one can take it away from you. Pansin mo, pag counterfeit peace ang meron ka, at madalas ganito yung pakiramdam mo at ganito yung nasasabi mo nauubos na yung pasensya ko kasi mali at temporary lang yung pumuno sa'yo kaya mabilis maubos sabi ko kasi eternity yung hole tama ba? <laughs> eternity yung hole na meron ka na nilagay sa'yo ng Lord kaya kahit anong temporary thing na ilagay mo dyan hindi hindi mapupuno kaya nauubos lagi Or, pwede rin namang nababanggit mo to. Or, nararamdaman mo. Napupuno na ako. Galit ka. Di ba? 
yun nga lang, mali ang naging laman dun sa hole mo. Mali ang pumasok, kaya mali ang lalabas. But, again, if it comes from Him, it is unmovable, unshakable. It stays with you. Actually, lahat ng yun, intro pa lang, kasi ito talaga ang main passage natin for today. John chapter 16, verse 33. Napakaganda, di ba? I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Ang ganda, di ba? In this chapter, yung buong chapter 16 ng book of John, makikita natin na madami ng bilin si Jesus sa mga followers niya. Minamindset niya na sila for He is about to send them after all that they've seen and been through with Him. Kumbaga sa discipleship process, patapos na siya sa equipping and He is now preparing them for what they're about to face. And at this point, He is telling them na yes, in this world you will have trouble. If it were you, for example, ikaw, nagpatawag ng meeting sa iyong leader mo na tinitingala mo kilala, magaling tapos ang sasabihin niya in this world, madami kang pagdadaan ng pagsubok actually, problema nga ang sabi, trouble what would you feel? wala, ano ba itong pinasok ko? akala ko pagkasama ko na siya di na ako mahihirapan but he says, take heart I have overcome the world. So, nagpatawag lang ba ng meeting to para takutin kami at ipaalala sa amin na magaling siya? Precisely! Yes! May pagdadaanan tayo. Mahihirapan tayo. Masasaktan. Madalas, hindi natin maiintindihan. But, we are called to have faith in Him who has already overcome. And ito pa, bakit niya nasabi ng lahat ng yon? Kailangan pa pong sabihin yun na magkaroon kami ng trouble. <laughs> Ito, asama na nga namin siya, magaling siya. He has overcome. Sinabi niya ba yun para mag-alala ka? Magka-problema ka? Para paghandaan mo? Look at the first phrase sa verse natin today. Sabi doon, I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. Which means, we are not called to worry. We are not called to question. We are not called to complain about it. To be frightened. Na problemahin natin. No! He is straightforward saying that if we want to overcome, if we want peace, na mapayapa tayong tunay, yung hindi fake, hindi temporary lang. We have to believe. We have to have faith in Him. Remember the story nung yung binabagi yung mga apostles and Jesus was sleeping sound. And yung photo. Yan ay pinakamagandang photo na nakuha ko sa Google. Diba, diba yung mga kasama ni Jesus? Professional fisherman yun. Tama? Ibig sabihin, dapat sanay na sila sa ganun. Kasi buong buhay na nilang ginagawa na nahinis na sila, tapos babagyuhin sila. Actually, nakapanood nga ako sa Discovery Channel, yung mga Pinoy na fishermen, ini-interview, Discovery yun ha. Tapos talagang nilalabanan nila, maliliit yung mga bangka nila, tapos kahit malalakas yung alon, sige. Kasi sanay na sila. Pero dito, at this point, yung takot ng mga professional fishermen na to, iba to the point that they themselves declared na malulunod tayo. Kaya nila giniising si Jesus, di ba? Sabi nila, Master, uh, hindi verbatim, ha? <laughs> Sabi nila, Master, malulunod na tayo. Kaya giniising nila. And what did Jesus do? He silenced the storm. Sabi niya, be still. Because He is the Prince of Peace. He is an overcomer. Tama? Remember that He did not just promise peace. He promised Himself that even in the midst of our challenges, of our troubles, He is there with us. 
He goes with you and before you according to His word. Hindi lang basta magaling ang kasama mo. Hindi lang basta marunong. Hindi lang basta malakas. Kundi na pagtagumpayan na niya lahat ng yan. And in that premise, He tells us that we should be at peace. Kaya kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan natin today, maybe let's stop for a moment and tignan natin sino ba talaga yung kasama natin in these challenges. Sino ba talaga yung kasama natin sa journey na to. Baka kaya tayo nag-aalala kasi we are relying on our own strength and we are just limited, human lang tayo. Baka kaya tayo feeling kulang natin kasi mali yung pumupuno sa atin and that hole inside of us is never satisfied kaya lagi tayo naghahanap ng iba o baka kaya mali yung lumalabas sa atin mali yung reactions natin sa bawat nangyayaring hindi maganda sa atin kasi mali yung pumupuno sa atin let us be filled with Him and His Word yun lang po yung gusto kong i-share sa inyo kasi totoo naman, gaya nga na sinabi ko sa previous videos natin kung napanood nyo, I suggest you do lahat tayo bago lang sa atin to. lahat tayo nag-a-adjust pa dito so instead of uh, uh, reacting negative to an already negative situation why, just we, why don't just we look for something positive out of it or at least pagaanin natin yung, yung environment around us kasi hindi na nga maganda yung environment tapos magre-react pa tayo ng hindi maganda wala nang maganda mangyayari but if we are at peace kagaya nung ibon kanina even in the midst of a huge huge storm relax lang siya, chill lang siya Bakit? because he is at peace because he knows kung sino yung kasama niya in that storm he knows kasama niya yung overcomer. He knows kasama niya yung Prince of Peace. So, bakit ako mag-aalala? Kung yung ibon na ako, yung mga halaman, sabi niya sa isang uh, verse, I forgot the verse, siguro ilalagay ko na lang. I-edit ko lang somewhere. There, there. Kung yung kahit yung mga halaman, yung mga ibon, inaalagaan niya, inisip niya kung ano yung kakainin, kung ano yung paano mag-uguro. What more tayo na tayo ang Creation. With that, I hope I shared something po sa inyo today and uh, I hope na yung, yung pinagdadaanan natin may we be at peace because hindi dahil baliw tayo hindi dahil sobrang positive lang natin there's nothing actually wrong with that it's just that we know kung kanina tayo nagtitiwala we know that He has a wonderful plan for us sabi nga niya si Jeremiah 29 di ba? For I know I have plans for you. Good hope in the future. Wala siyang, uh, hindi niya tayo balak mapahamak. Kasi nga, mahal na. The verse of the day nga na sinet ko kanina, di ba? It says there that He even gave us His only Son. Ganun niya tayo kung mahal. So, sa'yo mo pa babayaan. So, with that, I pray na, uh, natutunan kayo, na meron akong na-impart sa inyo, na natutunan ko lang naman din na tinuro lang din naman sa akin itong uh, verses na ito na itong uh, pinasa nating uh, verse and I pray na lahat tayo ay makalma at itong pinagdadaanan natin, matutunan at may matutunan tayo dito and we will grow through it, hindi lang tayo mag-go through it we will grow grow deeper in knowledge and in faith sa kanya of our Creator, our Savior. So with that team, uh, good morning and see you. Thank you for listening and God bless all of you. Stay safe and bless. Happy Sunday!